what's good y'all it's your boy ross back again with another video so i'm gonna check out big wrestlers doing high flying moves now it's not often that you see huge wrestlers going to the top rope and doing some type of high flying moves that are usually reserved for the smaller size wrestlers but when you do see it it is quite uh, amazing to see someone the size of like the big show going to the top rope because you know the impact is going to be a little bit more brutal so we're going to check out some of those moments where big wrestlers say you know what i'm a high flyer today should be an interesting one appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel we're gonna get right into this one you usually don't see wrestlers like the big show rikishi andre the giant and more doing high flying moves yeah. however that's exactly what you're gonna see in this video starting with the big show hitting an elbow drop <laughs> That's a huge ass elbow drop. <laughs> this is just a small bit of what the Big Show can do. During his early years in wrestling, the Giant would do a number of moves a man his height and weight should not be able to do. During the match. Hey, doing the kip up, being that big, quite impressive. In WCW Nitro, the Big Show took on Macho Man Randy Savage in the main event. A big name opponent like Savage calls for big moves, so mm -hmm. the Big Show pulled out this. Ever did this. Oh, oh my god. god. This was not the only time Big Show thought he was a cruiserweight. Years <laughs> later, when Big Show joined WWE, he found himself in a match against another big man, Test. The world's largest athlete then hit this. In disgust. Oh, oh my God! A drop kick from the seven nice footer. drop Did you kick. see him get up in the air? On another occasion, the Big Show fought another man close to his size, Kane. You would think a match between these two beasts would involve choke slams, chops, punches, big boots, and whatnot, but mm -hmm. the exact opposite is what happened. The match comprised almost entirely of grappling and holds, which caught everyone off guard. When's the last time you saw Kane with a hammerlock? I'm shocked. He said, I'm like shocked, it, but I'm shocked. Speaking of Kane, the Devil's Spirit Demon. I mean, it was kind of, kind of slow, but once again, these are huge guys out here um doing these crazy like these cruiserweight style wrestling moves has done some out of character moves for a man his size during a match on smackdown kane was facing albert albert turned out to be a tough opponent so kane realized he would need to use a move albert wouldn't expect two weeks later kane and albert were back at it again like in the last match the bigger machine was gonna need to use some outside the box thinking in order to win and he did exactly that It's crazy seeing Kane do that too, as well. <laughs> Bam Bigelow isn't nearly as well remembered as other WWE wrestlers, but he should be. Despite his size oh. and weight, Bigelow would still perform moves that cruiserweights could do, as seen here. Oh. Rikishi was a huge wrestler, but despite his weight, he moved like he was a man a quarter of his size. A prime example of this is the way he would take a clothesline. Oh my god, yeah, bro. He knows how to sell. He will turn inside out, upside down, just to make you look good. Holy. <laughs> However, the craziest high-flying move Rikishi ever performed was at Fully Loaded 2000. The man who did it for The Rock was the technical <laughs> champion. I did it. I did it for The Rock. <laughs> Val Venus. Rikishi was willing to do whatever it took to win the title, and I do mean anything. Yup. Classic spot. Oh, my God. Bro. That was a legendary spot. Seeing him go to the top of the cell, I mean, not cell, the uh, top of the cage to do that was insanity. You would think to see Jeff up there or Edge up there or Matt Hardy up there, not Rikishi. <laughs> the fact that Rikishi didn't destroy his knees is yeah. unbelievable. Before tearing his quad and nearly killing himself trying to dive at Big Show, Kevin Nash would actually do some high flying moves. One such moment happened at the In Your House 2 pay per view. Nash fought Psycho Sid in a lumberjack match for the WWE Championship. At one point, Big Sexy decided just to crossbody the lumberjacks. Nice. Wait a minute. <laughs> what the hell? It was even more impressive see what Nash did at SummerSlam a month later. You have to wonder how much damage those legs are. Whoa! Look at that! Jeez. Despite being a big wrestler, The Undertaker moved surprisingly well and mm -hmm. could perform a number of high risk moves. Still, it feels weird to see the dead man do this. A huge man! Yep. Right now. Undertaker! Have a stop their warring factions and a back on a superstar line! The thing about The Undertaker is he moves so fluid and so quick. Like, you tend to forget how huge this guy is going to the top rope and doing moves from the top rope so effortlessly. 
While many would argue that Vader was underutilized in his WWE career, that doesn't stop him from being one of the greatest big men in wrestling history. Why is that? Just watch this. Whoa. Look at this. That's a Whoa, lot of weight. Oh, well, that's incredible. The fact that Vader never botched the moonsault is also very that's impressive. Incredible. And sometimes he could even do stuff like this. The time? No! Oh. oh. When you hear Brock Lesnar in Shooting Star Press, your mind immediately yeah. goes to when Lesnar botched the move yep. at WrestleMania 19. However, that was due to the Beast having wrestled an Olympic gold medalist for 20 minutes and being exhausted. Mm -hmm. Prior to his WWE debut, Lesnar regularly used the Shooting Star Press and performed it successfully. Shelton out of the ring, Brock Lesnar on the top rope! My God! No, that's you may not Incredible. be familiar with Ozzy Jones, but you will be after you see what he can do. Jones signed with WWE in 2019 and weighs just over 400 pounds. Despite that, Jones does things his way. Oh. Andre the Giant is one of the biggest wrestlers of all time. However, by the time he came to WWE, Andre could barely move. That's why it's so unbelievable to see him doing this. Giants climbing on the ropes. I don't even know if they're holding. And oh. that's a giant splash off the ropes. Or this time, where Andre thought he was Jeff Hardy. <laughs> down, down he comes. Now, how tall is Andre the Giant actually? And were there wrestlers who are taller than him? Find out. Watch this video. Hey, man. That, once again, it's it's always dope to see wrestlers, especially the, the, the larger wrestlers, out there doing moves you don't expect. And it's always good to kind of freshen up your moves and do something that the fans don't expect. And you know, we can appreciate. So comment down below, let me know who is your favorite, I guess you could say big wrestler. You know, the traditional wrestler that Vince McMahon loves. He loves the wrestlers that are like seven feet tall, way over 400 pounds. Who is your favorite big wrestler of all time? But I appreciate all the love and support you guys on our channel. Road to 150K and I'm still here on the speed of YouTube wrestling show for the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See you on the next one. Peace.